In this video, we'll talk about working with the non-adaptive homework in Alex. Here, you'll notice that we don't yet have an item in our left-hand pane of the login screen, but we can always go to the assignments list under the main menu to see all available homework. In this case, once topics four through seven homeworks are available, we can start working on those. And to do that, we left click on a specific item. There's a reminder here that you can uh, save the homework and continue later on it, but you have to do that before moving to something else. So once you're in working on homework mode here, you would then need to exit that mode before moving on to working on something else. And you can switch between working on different homeworks, just like you switched between working on different skills for the adaptive homework. To start on a specific question, you click Start at the bottom. And this will give you a list of items. Here, there are no prerequisites, and you can choose from any of the questions that are provided at the top. For each question, you complete it correctly once, and you can complete these in any order. Note that for each question, the right-hand help menu will be available. Frequently used items here are, of course, the calculator, the example, which will give you an example like the one here. That's similar to the example that precedes the skills in the adaptive homework. Here, you would invoke that example when you're already looking at the question. The explanation will give you the answer to your specific question, but then it'll give you a new question to complete. Those are the most common items. Here's that message center option that I've mentioned in previous videos. That lets you send a message to your instructor and include a link to one of these questions so that if you have a question about a specific item that you're working on, you can use this message center option to request assistance. You can also retry after you've completed each question, that question multiple times and even if your later answers are incorrect, so this is a way to practice with these skills as well. As soon as you get one correct, you have full credit for that question, even if later on you, you don't answer another example of that question correctly. And save for later and submit assignment are available down here at the bottom right. You will need to uh, select submit assignment in order for this to register for your instructor to record your score. Save for later allows you to go back later. Submit assignment actually also allows you to go back in. So either of these is to some extent interchangeable. And we'll go ahead and press the save for later here. That make gives us our main menu again. We can go back to the login screen and continue from there. 